Good evening, everyone. Tracy Cornett alongside Marius Payton in the WSMB4 Now News Center. We are talking a major storm shift here in Nashville, Tennessee, <laughs> where it's going to convert to some snow possibly tonight. In yeah, Tennessee. it was 65 degrees earlier today. That is not the case to, tonight. Yeah. We saw the rain come in and we're talking about possible snow. Mm -hmm. It's getting so cold out there. We had some, well, we had some major thunder uh, during the what? 6.30 newscast yep. Yep. tonight as things are transitioning around here. So our Lisa Spencer will be joining us at 10 o'clock here with more on that. But today our Black History Month coverage continues with a special anchor piece and it's kind of we've been rotating through mm -hmm. to make sure these amazing stories are told here in Middle Tennessee. Yeah, this one surrounds the state numbers show that there's a lot or not a lot of diversity within certain areas of the TBI. So the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, if you're not familiar with that, um, a really interesting look inside our Carly Gordon checking this out. She spent multiple years on this beat, first of all, so she's very familiar with all of this. Yeah, she sat down with three women who say they're going above and beyond to change that one crime at a time. Yeah, so inside the lab there at TBI Nashville headquarters, three women are making history and a scientist that helps solve some of the biggest criminal cases in the state as part of the TBI's forensics department. Department. Yeah, they're um, right now the TBI has just 12 African Americans in its nearly 200 employee forensic departments. That's not a lot. And one of the ladies we talked to said, you know, it's emotional for her because things she's experienced in the building being, you know, being one who, who's, who's having to choke back tears in yeah. some of these instances. It's been really hard for her, but mm -hmm. they say they're not waiting around for change. They're going to go out and make change themselves. And they say they. Um, That's uh, how the Forensics Academy was actually created. Yeah, they select, like, <clears throat> excuse me, minority students um, like Andrew Sullivan, who are now being recruited and brought into the TBI's crime labs for access that most of us will never, ever get. One on one training from the best in the state. These folks talking about how just being there the first day and seeing the cases they opened up for them in the labs was incredibly eye opening. Now, after participating in the program, Andrew Sullivan, who you see here, decided this is where he needs to be full time. He says every day I think about what he can do today that could get him there tomorrow. It's a win for these women who are working so hard to write a new black history that representation matters yeah it matters and they say they, they're making a difference and they know they're making a difference and what they're doing and they're committed to doing it and doing the work as well so you're looking at carly right there saying that the forensics academy is a one-week program to qualify you do have to be a sophomore or a junior and here we'll bring us back um, on camera here you have to be a sophomore or junior majoring in a natural science and you have to have a 3.0 gpa but if you want to apply Check out our app right now or our website for more information. Yeah, this is a great program and it's helping a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. You know, these women that we talked to is in Andrew Sullivan as well. They are excited about uh, the potential and the future of the TBI, especially uh, for people of color. Yeah. So, hey, keep watching here on WSMV4 for these stories and more as we continue to celebrate Black History Month. And by the way, tomorrow the Emmys here locally, this man up for one of them <laughs> for last year's Black History um, show, like our yeah, special, we did a, right? we did a special last year on, um, it's called Our Stories 2. Um, it was about African Americans in country music. So we talked to a lot of African Americans about the struggles that they had mm -hmm. um, in the industry and what they uh, ne think needs to change. And incredibly, um, I guess, forward thinking too, when you look at what Beyonce just dropped. For yes, example. yes. And you have some personal insight into yeah, that. Yeah, she just dropped a country uh, record, and we've been hearing about it for a while now. It's been really secretive. Um, so we've yeah, been asking been about it. Yeah, you've been hearing about it for yes. a while. We've been like asking about it. some of his inroads from your, la from your special last year. Yeah, um, so that's going to drop, and it's going to be interesting to see how country music accepts, accepts it. That's right. Yeah. We'll be watching, and we hope you will be too. We'll see you tonight. Don't miss the forecast again from Lisa Spencer for a very busy weekend. It's going to be busy. Yeah. It's going to be cold. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in a little bit.